Hallelujah. I want you to hear me, beloved. There's a man of God that I met here, Bishop Lee Stewart. We have a connection in a strange kind of way going back years. His pastors and his and the ministers that he was associated with have a connection with a man that 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 my pastor years ago that 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 first ordained me in the ministry, Apostle Garris. I mean, Apostle Archel Skinner. I mean, Apostle Garris came out from Apostle Skinner, and Bishop Stewart. He came. I mean, the the people that mentored him and prayed over him, they have a connection with Apostle Skinner too. This is important important to understand. I have roots. I have roots for, for the things that I do right now that are very powerful. Hallelujah. When I was a young man searching years ago for the truth of God, being a new convert, and I got saved in an environment in South Jersey where there was a lot of Southern Baptists that didn't even believe in the Holy Ghost. They, 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 didn't, believe, they didn't believe in the Holy Ghost. They didn't believe in the gifts of the Spirit. They didn't believe any of the good stuff that, that, that we walk in and embrace right now. And... People came into my life at that stage that laid a foundation for my future. And I want to give a shout out to a uh, pastor, um, David Ireland, because he was a key catalyst as well in getting me to the church that I was a part of for, for about 10 or 11 years, where I was an ordained apostle under that ministry back in 93. Hallelujah. These people, God used these people at different points in my life. To bring me to where I'm at right now. And even, even when I left New Jersey to come to Port Arthur, Texas, Pastor Letha Green embraced me as, as a son and took the time to, to, to nurture me and bring me up. And then as I started going forward in ministry in Texas a little bit more, and then eventually by way of a lot of things, I'm going to bypass some things because it's important to acknowledge those people that genuinely helped my life. Hallelujah. I ended up going to Covenant Church over a period of time because I went through a very disappointing time with the fellowship that I was a part of in ministry. And I had dealt with people that didn't necessarily embrace the gifting that God had given me. And I went through a state of, I mean, kind of brokenness. And then when I settled in Covenant Church and was under the teachings of Pastors Mike and Kathy Hayes for a season and stuff like that, it was such a blessing. Now, it was a relatively large church. It still is, and it's a thriving church right now. And I, and, and I had a chance to talk with Pastor Hayes one time, and then the other time I had some direct contact with him was when he was commissioning Brendan and myself when we went through the leadership training at the church. I spent more time I mean, directly um, in communication with Pastor Charles Rawson, who took me in as a son during that time, mentored me and, and believed in me. So I want to take the time to acknowledge these things. It's very important to, to know, I mean, your roots. And also um, Pastor Carl Ritter in Plano, who, who prayed over me and spoke a blessing, I mean, under the Jew, Jewish I mean, tradition. I want to take the time to acknowledge people that have been there in my life over the course of time. Hallelujah. That have been like fathers and mothers to me in the time or brothers that have that have been strong in the faith. Hallelujah. Oh glory. Why is why am I taking the time to do this? Because we all need somebody. We've all needed somebody during the course of time. And me being a spiritual father right now, hallelujah, I understand the importance of being a positive example and also being broad enough to help somebody else be what God's called them to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because some people like to take the credit for everything that happens in their lives. I'm not going to do that. I'm not I'm not foolish like that. I realize that somebody along the way God used to pour some things into me to be where I am right now. And what what do you do in the meantime? You turn around and do that to somebody else, because that's how this thing works. It is what it is. Hallelujah. Now, you have to take this into consideration. In the course of time, it is right to give honor to whom honor is due. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And in a day and an age when so much is going under so much disrespect, there's church splits, there's so much rebellion in the house of God. 
Hallelujah. I want you to understand something. Pastor Young, Apostle Young knows the difference between divine order and control. I understand that. Hallelujah. But we got to understand something. We have we have to know we we have to we have to know what our proper parameters are. God has put people in your life that will speak over your life, that will encourage you, that will light a fire in your life, that will bring you to your destiny. Many times your destiny is tied to people. There's people that come into your life that will change your life forever. Hallelujah. You know your season has changed when God has put specific people in your life. And whether they're there for a lifetime or they're there for a season, sometimes it's good to go back and reflect of the handiwork of God. There's some things in life that you cannot control. One thing you cannot control is the decisions of others. But you can't control the decisions of yours. And I'm going to tie this together. We need to be able to recognize the people that God's put in our life. Because God could put people in your life to be a blessing, to be, to be the catalyst for your change. And if you don't make the quality decision to acknowledge that and, and honor that, then you could very well miss your season. Hallelujah. I feel this. I need to tell you this. Don't miss your season because you don't recognize your time of visitation. That would be because when we look at the life of Joseph, jo Joseph, we see that God strategically put people in his life and these people symbolically changed the season in his life. They was the key into bringing him into his destiny. And for those of you listening right now, God has put people in your life. And, and if he has not, he will put people in your life that will be a key catalyst. But recognize your time of visitation. Hear me. Recognize your time of visitation. Don't count it as nothing. Because we live in a day when people don't appreciate anything. Hallelujah. And then when, when they make it, they, they don't take the time to turn around and give thanks for the people that God's put in their life. There's no such thing as a self-made individual. The devil is a lie. Anybody that's made it needed the help of somebody at some point in life. Even if you're a business people, you need people to believe in your business plan in order for stuff to happen. The devil is a lie. And even when we do ministry right now, people need to embrace what we do in order for us to, for us to be who we are. Now, it is true that everybody don't have to embrace you. But if you're out there on social media and you're reaching nobody, what are you doing? We do everything with the idea of being a benefit to somebody. And if you was created by God and was given an assignment by God, you was created to be a blessing to somebody, not just to yourself. Hallelujah. Because if you're living for yourself, you haven't done anything. But if you're living for the cause of the kingdom, if you're looking to advance the cause of the kingdom and make somebody else's life better behind your living, then you are a step closer to doing what God has called you to do. We need to be passionate about pouring into people's lives. It can't just be about me, myself, my I, and my own, and that's it. The devil is a lie. Jesus died for us all. And even though your assignment may not be on the same plateau as Jesus, God has created you to be a blessing to somebody else's life. I take the time to honor those people that have been in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm taking this time right now to honor those people that have been in my life. Hallelujah. That have spoken to me directly or indirectly makes no difference at all. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Whose life are you impacting right now? This is Apostle Young with a thought for this hour. We'll be talking to you again real soon.